And we are, of course, live on the big one. We're live on TikTok. We're live on Twitch. We're live on YouTube. And we're live on LinkedIn. And we're live on Facebook. Welcome, 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 I say. It's just gone 11.30 on Monday, Monday the 27th of September. 2021 and a very very good morning to every single one of you good morning says larky derry good morning larky derry and thank you hello scotty says jasper hello jasper how lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do to you welcome 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 i see now it is the phone in and uh, we're trying a morning one we always are on in the evenings as you know from nine o'clock sharp through until 10 o'clock sharp monday to thursday and Friday and Saturday, 10 o'clock until 11 o'clock. So an excellent time to have a fun in. Good morning, everybody. And welcome, 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 I say. So good to have you all with us. It's wonderful. And the chat is there and the phone lines are there. The real purpose of this morning's pop-up is just to make you aware of the phone in. I mean, it is absolutely amazing that uh, we're about four weeks in and we are of course live and that is tremendous and it means that you can phone in as well if you'd like to good morning sir scotty good morning scott fraser it's a splendid day jasper we are witnessing internet history it's a splendid day indeed and we're live on tiktok and we love that do come and join us feel free lovely to have you with us good morning scott he says denise denise good morning how lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do everybody share please guys spread the word it seems simple but that's how it's done. If you can all share this, if you're watching YouTube, please subscribe and tap the bell and uh, get your notifications as to when we go live because the internet phone in will become very, very, very big indeed and very, very quickly. Good morning, says Tony Mack. Good morning, Tony. Jasper says the Queen should give you a knighthood. Well, I don't really need a knighthood, to be honest. I would only accept it if I thought I could do good works for you guys with it. But um, no, we're not needing that. What I do need is lots and lots of you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I need lots and lots of you to uh, follow me on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. I need you to join me on LinkedIn, one of the greatest uh, networking platforms in the world. And we're broadcasting live there. Scotty McClure, do you have a spouse? Don't be ridiculous. Who would have me? Good morning, Scotty, my man. Good morning, Martin. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. So good to have everybody joining us at this time of the morning. I know a lot of you are doing your chores, the high dusting. You're going out to get the shopping and all that. But there's never a right or a wrong time to pop up live, I say. What do you think of the supposed petrol shortages, Scotty? Only panic buying has caused shortages. Yes, there aren't any shortages, but then you won't be seeing that if the pump is locked at your local garage. Uh, so there you are. It's just the panic buying. It shouldn't be allowed. People should limit it to, I don't know, 25 pounds in your tank. And that's it. It's Monday, mate. No Sunday. John, you're quite right, because Sunday, we're not on at all. So there you are, Monday, we are definitely on. Fantastic. Now, who have we got here? Dylan. Dylan, I think you're just a wee daft silly wee troll, and we'll send you down the swanee. So Dylan's gone for just being a half-witted idiot in Liverpool, of all places. And Liverpool's normally quite intelligent. There we are. Off he goes. There we are, doing the soiree with the trolls. Remember, you never, ever troll, and you never, ever stroll once you've found Scotty McClue on TikTok. Thank you for my lovely red roses, Martin. Oil from Scotland's running dry. Nonsense. There's about another thousand years of it. There we are. How long are you expecting to live? What's in the cards for lunch, Scotty? Well, I've just had a beautiful breakfast. So I think lunch will have something quite modest. Maybe a sandwich. There we are. Good day, Scotty. Good day. Motorbikes rock. 
I'm sure lots of women would want to have you, Scotty. Oh, I don't know, Tony. I've asked plenty of people. There we are. All right, Scotty. Love from sunny South Africa. Alan McClellan in South Africa. We love you in South Africa. How amazing is that? The trolls clippity clop over the bridge. They've gone, Alan. Bye bye, Dafties. Actually, they're poor souls trolls. Do you like what I just did there? A little bit of a rhyme. Trolls are poor souls because they're really just young people who are not mature enough to handle a proper live stream. They're the, like the people that phone you and put the phone down because they don't know what to say. Their, their bottle goes. There we are. Good evening, the Duke of Dundee. I'm going out with my dad. I'm Ross. Thank you, Ross. Have a lovely day. John Boy has joined us from Port Glasgow in the west of Scotland. Scotland of millions of barrels. The world has trillions. Absolutely, Dave Deprave. Good morning, Sir Scotty. Thank you, do. Good morning, Margaret. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us, Margaret. Give there. Fantastic lady. Trolls are poor souls. They are and thick. Yes, they're very thick, Alan. They're not the brightest, you know. They don't have a particularly high IQ. But that doesn't mean that they are precluded from here. But we have to send the idiots down the swanee that are just thinking they'll rip the mints out of TikTok and the Internet's top live show. Unacceptable behavior, I say. The SNP is an old, what about them? There you are. Good morning, Scotty from Newton Grange. Ah, Craig, we love Newton Grange. Lots of petrol stations are limited to £30 a customer. Rationing's the only answer. People can be so selfish. I can remember I had a Puch, a Puch Maxi Moped in 1973, I think it was. 73, 74. And petrol rationing came in. And we had to get petrol coupons from the post office. There we are. All good stuff, I say. I thought that was Del Boy. Oh, what a laugh, Joseph. Don't I look just like Del Boy? Well done. Well done, sir, I say. I think it's maybe the hat. Yes, absolutely. Scotty, what did you work as before retiring? Swindle, I am not retired. I have another 35 years to go until I retire. I've just had a very tough paper round. But I've worked on boats. I've worked in banking with a B. I've worked in theater, in opera, in television, in radio, uh, on the internet, you know, in education, all these things. And uh, over the next 35 years ago, I'll decide about retirement, you know. I'm home, Scotty. Kareem, how amazing. Did you have a nice run back up the road? And did you enjoy your weekend? There we are. Terrific uh, torrential rain during the night. You're a great man, mate. I thank you, Joseph. Dinky you do. So there we are. First panics, toilet roll. Second panics, petrol. Well, you can't go anywhere if you haven't wiped your bottom. So I would say that's probably why. And uh, there we are. I'm home, everybody. Dinky do. Karim is home. Karim, I, I, I missed your message on Saturday. You said, I won't be phoning in tonight. I wasn't sure what that was about. Scotty, what's the smallest commercial airfield in Scotland? Uh, well, commercial airfield, it could be a whole variety. It could be Mahrahanish. Campbelltown, it could be Barra, it could be Glenforsa in Mull, it could be, um, it could be, is there one on Papa Westry in Orkney? It could be the smallest commercial one. I mean, it's not, it's not Dal Cross, is it? Inverness. There we are. I also enjoyed your radio class at college. It was great being one of your students. Do you remember me, Tony? Of course I remember you. We all had our photo taken together after the lecture. That was a great day. And I enjoyed having you guys as students because you're a lovely, lovely class. Hi, Scotty McClure. This is Daryl McMillan. Daryl, hi from Scotty McClure. Dinky doo to every single one of you. There we are. Pass the whiskey. It's got an H, it's whiskey. What a tough question. It's 
So it's more about follow us, guys. If you're on TikTok, get following as soon as you can and get tap, 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 tap the screen. Why don't they catch the bus if they can't get petrol? Well, Angela, the buses aren't just as easy as you think. I don't know if you're a big bus traveler, but I once had to phone my work at um, a quarter to nine in the morning when I was due to start and say, I think it'll be nine o'clock before I'm in. And they said, what's keeping you, Scotty? I said, you must forgive me, I'm on a bus. And they said, oh, right. I said, I've been on it since 20 past seven in the morning. So, you know, it wasn't very far I was traveling, but the bus took, uh, you know, a good couple of hours. Uh, so there we are to get to work, absolutely. Here's somebody calling in. You're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Hello? Who's that? No, we can't hear him. There we are. Scotty, are you involved in politics at all? Not at all, Swindle. I am 100% apolitical, but I know a lot about politics if you want to discuss it. But no, I don't uh, have any party politics. I just know what's good for the people. Scotty, what time is it over there? Prayers for everyone always. Denise Nelson House. It is 11.42. Yes, so that's British summertime. That will change back to Greenwich Mean Time because we will be falling back one hour. Uh, so it's 11.42 in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Uh, I need to vote the SNP out. So there you are. Now, Susie, where are you getting this nonsense from? Everybody has just voted them in. So why are you swimming against the tide? You need to give us a bit more than that. Every Scot is voting for the SNP virtually. Uh, too many junkies on the bus, says Daryl. We should stop it. You should have to do a drugs test before you go on the bus or before you go out in public. And if anybody is caught, they should be jailed for life for having taken drugs. That's what I think would be good. We don't want junkies. I mean, life should be about the majority, not the minority. There we go. Hi, Scotty. Yes, I was so tired. I just had you on in the background listening to everyone. I needed to chill. Yes, indeed. I see where you're coming from, Karim. You must have been exhausted because you do a very busy, busy job. Uh, uh, I needed to chill, but I'll definitely call tonight. Yes, tonight, nine o'clock for the phone in tonight. Now, guys, one of the reasons we've popped up I need to ask every single one of you if you will subscribe to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel because we're very slow on that and the internet phone-in will just go huge and I don't want you all left behind having not subscribed and tapped the bell. So we need to get that sorted. Hello from Perth. Perth in Scotland or Perth, West Australia. I say to you. Uh, there we go. Mason has joined us. Good morning, Mason. Buses work tip top for me. Only takes me 15 minutes to the next town over. The apps are brilliant in the modern day to help plan journeys. I can remember standing at the bus stop in Yorkshire, you know, and there was a lady there. It looked as if she'd been there for hours. And she was saying things like, um, do you know if buses come, love? I said, well, I don't think so. Not since I came here. Lol, what nonsense. What nonsense is nonsense, Dave DeBrave. How do I phone in, says Daryl? You'll see the phone number in front of you, Daryl, 0141 628 You dial that and I talk to you. The SNP are strong in Scotland because the opposition to them is so poor. People complain about them, but they do little to oppose them. Yes, do you think I would be good standing for Parliament, Robert Scrimger? Scotty McClue as an MP, a Mike Papa. Drugs test for the buses, public transport, uh, and to leave your house. Welcome to 2021. Absolutely, Dave Deprave. I think what we should do, we should have an app uh, out in public. And if you're out in public, you need to be drug free, you need to be clean. You need to have been clean for a long time. And if you're caught with drugs on you, even a whiff of uh, wacky backy, you should be jailed for life. 
We can always build new jails, I say. I need to join the phone in. It'd be nice to see. It's nice to see you again, Scotty. Peter Conley, fantastic. Just phone us up. The number's in front of the phone in, and you can see it there. Can everybody see the number in front of them right now? Tell me if you can't. Also, if you're uh, watching on YouTube or you're on TikTok, if you're on YouTube, make sure you've subscribed. If you're on TikTok, can you please uh, look in front of you just below my bio? And there's the link to the YouTube channel. Just subscribe. You'll be glad you did. I can't see the number. So you can't see the number. Can anybody see the number? Hang on a minute. What are you watching on? Are you watching on TikTok? You'll not see it on TikTok. There's the number on TikTok. That's the number on TikTok, guys. Ah, yes, you won't see it on TikTok. You'll see it if you're on YouTube, if you're on Twitch at Scotty underscore McClue. You'll see it if you're on Facebook or LinkedIn. <coughs> what do you think about the M25 protesters? They're putting themselves and everyone at risk. They shouldn't be protesting sitting on a motorway, Tony. That's not the way to protest. The way to protest is to walk very quietly past Parliament holding your placards. There we are. Everyone have a great day. Time to get ready here. Time to get ready for work. It's 5.50 a.m. Everyone, please stay safe. Thank you, Denise. Have a lovely day at work, 10 to 6 in the morning in America. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem. How ah, Kareem, how fantastic. You are a good man. How's this for a treat? Sorry? How's this for a treat in the morning? Oh, yes, no, it was quite nice getting a wee surprise coming on. So I thought, like, I'll give a quick wee call. I just thought I'll try it. I was really just trying it to say to people who are on YouTube, get yes. subscribing. We need to get started. Yes, no, I think it's a good idea. And, um, Obviously, people can listen at different times of the day. Like yes. Some people may not be able to listen at night. They're available now and vice versa. Yes. I mean, I think that's very important. And uh, I also think we need to really start building now. We've done a month's trial. Everything appears to be working. This is as good as it gets at the moment. And, um, you know, I, I see no problem why this phone in shouldn't go absolutely ballistic. Absolutely. No, I totally agree with you, Scotty. Um, I was phoning uh, because the comment that was made uh, a couple of minutes ago, uh, which the person's 100% right about, like she was talking about, or he was talking about junkies on the bus. Yes. Uh, you're, now, I normally say that term because my friend lives in a council scheme uh, in Kilmarnock, and I don't know, years ago there was a documentary uh, about the really rough schemes within Kilmarnock, and he's in that bit. I remember it. He's, he's having trouble not to go into detail, but his upstairs neighbour is, is a junkie and he's having a bit of issues. So the police have been around, but more so the police seem to be taking the junkie's side with a lot of things. But I won't go into detail about that. But no, well, that needs to stop. I think anybody taking drugs other than prescription drugs, um, I think if they're found to be testing positive, you know, I mean, we, we've managed to test for COVID, We've managed to test for all sorts of things. So I think now we should be testing for drugs. And if anybody's got drugs in them, jail them for life. We can always build new jails. I always, I totally agree with you. But the terminology now, Scottish, you're not allowed, the, the, the informed, my friend, you're not allowed to use the word junkie. It's unintentionally and intoxicated or something along those lines. No, no, you know, you've got junkies, you've got smack heads, you've got weed heads, you've uh -huh. got all these things. And, you know, these are terms that describe these people and there should be a lot more of it. We need to start guilt tripping these people big style. You know, there needs to, we've got to take positive action. Why should the people, the majority of people, not be able to have a nice life, getting their house tanned, getting stabbed, having problems with this, that, and the next thing, noisy people upstairs who don't work because they're junkies or smackheads or, uh, or wheat heads or whatever they are, you know, and let's get society back on track, a nice fit place, 
for young people to grow up in? It's been an eye opener because I'm always I feel that I'm very lucky, Scotty, because where I live and don't get me wrong, I was brought up cash and milk way, so a big jump from cash and milk to Newton Mearns. The old the old Chateau but, Ole. Oh yes, it's a good yeah. ten minute journey, Karim. Yes. Yeah. But I mean <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I won't go into detail, Scotty, but I'll give you an example that I was shocked and horrified that the my my friend has a dog and I love dogs and yes. I bring my dogs. Outside his doorstep was a used needle. And I was absolutely mortified. I thought, what if that was a child that touched that? What yes. if dog's paws? And I've had that? I've had a dog with cut paws from broken uh, bottles. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, but it's, I won't go into detail about it, but it's ridiculous and how the, the, the police are really just trying to brush it in the car, but they're not bothered. And I can't, I'm, well, I think the police are so stretched nowadays and they don't really yeah. know what to be doing because of all this kind of woke in society. And, you know, they have to be careful arresting somebody. They have to make sure they don't be putting their knee on their neck and all that sort of stuff. You know, and so the police can't really win at the moment. They, we need to get the police back in charge. And these cheeky people that go, I'm filming outside the police station. You can't stop me. It's they need to take them aside and give them a good birching. I, I think, Scott, I'm, I do support the police. I always have. Yes. And some of the things that I've been told by a certain police officer dealing with that a few times he's been to that, my friend's house, I thought it's very unprofessional. Um, because they, everybody, as you know, teachers or professionals have a code of a code of conduct and ethics they need to follow. Yes. And I would question. I think he's an older gentleman, so I don't know if he's retiring soon or whatever. He'll be on his way out. Might be old style, old school type uh, kind of police officer. But I would be concerned if that was someone was coming to my house and saying a lot of the things that was being said. But don't get me wrong, I do support the police. I think there should be a lot more power for the police. But um, I would question that individual. Um, but we need to be it. very clear on the law. We need to teach people right from wrong. It sounds a bit old fashioned just simply because we've been there before. Yeah. You know, but I mean, you would never, ever, ever have got people, young people, middle aged people, old people, cheeking up to the police 40, 50 years yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, I think show respect um, and hopefully you'll get respect shown. Hopefully we will, but if somebody's off their face or smacked out their head or uh, or junked up, they don't understand about respect. No, I think a lot of those type of people are, it's me, myself and I, yes. what can I get? I, you know, and people just, it's, uh, my phrase I'm saying a lot just now, Scotty, uh, and I think it just sums it up. The majority of people now have to suffer for the minority of people. And Correct. And that's wrong. That's an imbalanced society. Correct. Yeah. You know? But I'm seeing that so much. And I don't know, Scotty, if you're seeing that as well. Yes. You know, I'll give you another example. You love Blackpool, and you spoke about it in the past. Yes. But there was a picture uh, on one of the pages from Blackpool that people are complaining about some of the lights because they find it very offensive. Yes. Um, it's to do, it was like, the you know the Pleasure Beach, but they've got the lights, and it was like, uh, it was cowboys and Indians, but it was like 12 Indians, um, just normal Indians, you know, nothing offensive, but people are finding that offensive. And there was another one where it was like Aladdin's cave, and it was all lit up, and it said, open sesame. But people found that very, very offensive as well. well. Some people are, yeah, again, it'll be the few individuals that are piping up. See, there shouldn't be it. any of this. Uh, you know, nobody has the right uh -huh. to go to something and not be offended. If you're going to something, you know what you're going to. If you're watching a play, if it's this, that, then you know. And bringing up this looking for woke stuff is a piece of nonsense. Correct. You know? Right. And if somebody says, okay, let's find out if we think anybody would be upset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? The council there, Blackpool Council, have responded saying it's been used for years. Obviously, it will not be used in the near future because it will be 
you know, come to the end of its life. But I, I think they've got no plans of getting rid of it at the moment. But I just really do think there's a lot of people that instead of complaining, they're not complaining for the right things, complain about the petrol shortages. Yes, complain, complain about uh, Brexit, complain about this, that and the next thing. Not yes. about some silly lies. Yeah, making something up that just doesn't matter a hoot to anybody. Correct, Scotty. Kareem. Well, listen, I'm on here, but I'll have a wee think, and I'll definitely give you a wee call tonight, Scotty. I look forward to it, and so lovely to hear you this morning, and dig you do, sir. Have a lovely day. You too, Scotty. See you later. Bye -bye. Top man, ta -la. There we are, Kareem. Very, very interesting. Right, guys, what going to... I write, says Suzuk. Jailed for life for smoking the green. You'd be locking up 90% of the population. Then so be it and leave 10% free to enjoy the world. Build the jails and lock them up. They'll soon get the message. You say, oh, no, don't do that. He's in the jail for life for smoking. Uh, similar to the M8 and, and all that. Yeah, happy as Larry couldn't be happier. Stuart to be dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. It isn't the police uh, who's the problem. It's the CPS. In what way? All right, so there we go. Lost a lot of viewers there. I don't think so, Tanky. If you're losing viewers who are junkies, then that's great. We don't want them anyway. Yes, our freedom of speech from Norway. Dinky do. There we go. So you believe in ruling by violence. So there we go. No, I believe in keeping law and order. Different thing. You won't get violence if you don't do anything wrong. That's what we need to know. Now, a uh, long-time viewer, fantastic, Tanky Bone, no problem at all. We wouldn't want anybody watching who would break the law. Uh, what's your opinion in uh, COP26 in Glasgow, Scotty? Very good, very good for Glasgow, actually, to have attention on it, to have that focus on it, very, very good. Drug addicts are the scourge of society, and the people they affect with their crime Children need protection from these people. Absolutely, Suzanne. There's not enough bricks to build jails for weed smokers. Dave Deprave will find the bricks. Can always convert some of the properties. Uh, I didn't say that, David. Just met older generations who did have it tougher. Authority was respected. It wouldn't work now. Well, Robert, you say it wouldn't work now. If we have a society where respect won't work, then we need to make sure it does we need to change our society. So there we are. Fantastic. Scotty, you're my favorite DJ. Rangers 2021, I thank you. There we are. Agreed, says uh, Karim. Absolutely agree, Suzanne, says Ebri. There we are, Ebri. Your royal Ebri, Ari, is, is ancient monarchy. Fantastic. So there you are. So never say it wouldn't work in our society to rid it of junkies. I see it would. Fantastic stuff, yes. And we need to get on and tidy things up a bit. But do give us your opinion. If you want to phone in, you can. 0141628-9795. If you're on TikTok, dinky do, Mrs. Mango. She loves you. Dinky do, Mrs. Mango. They are fantastic. Now, I'm just going to pop off the TikTok and we'll start it again for you. Lovely, lovely. So we'll say bye to the TikTokers just for now. Fantastic. We love all that. That is beautiful. And uh, what I'm going to do now. Oh, hang on a second. Whoa. Right. And I'm going to come back on with the TikTokers. And uh, they can join us again. That'll be lovely. There we are. Wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. Now, who have we got here? Um, absolutely agrees, as everybody. Robert says, not frustrated at all, Dave. Couldn't be happier living in an egalitarian, culturally diverse Scotland. Just we can always look at things to improve. Too much of a snowflake generation now. Robert Scrimger, 100% correct, sir. Tony says, I think the term woke goes back to African Americans. I believe it means an awareness to injustice and racism. Good in theory, but can be taken too far. Yes, I think we are aware of injustice and racism. This is why we're trying to get rid of the junkies and the smackheads. Sorry, Scotty, I think I've started a wee debate. Kareem, there's nothing wrong with a wee debate. I can tell you. So they are, did you get my donation? Lerwick guy, I should need to check before I could tell you. When did you send it? There we are. And what did you send it on?
That's why we need to know. Good morning to all our beautiful TikTokers. And welcome, welcome, welcome to part two of our morning pop-up. How amazing is that? I'm just wondering when I actually popped up. There we go. Yes, no, nothing wrong. Never, ever apologize for starting a debate, Kareem. This is what it's all about. Guys, if you've just joined us and you're wondering what on earth's going on, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, hashtag foot eye, the world's top broadcaster. And we are live right across YouTube, across Twitch, across Facebook Live, and across LinkedIn Live. So lovely to have you with us. Can you make sure that you share, that you uh, follow us on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue? So if you've got a Twitch account, go to Scotty underscore McClue and watch the Twitch live for a bit. That will help. I do apologize. Corporal punishment. The bias chat is unbelievable. I agree with Scotty, but your chat's incorrect, says Dave. So there we are. Right. So we'll see what's what, Dave. Yes, indeed. Now, good morning, pal. Good morning, Thomas. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Thank you for sending me all these lovely likes live on TikTok. You're very, very kind. There we are. What are you saying? What's your favorite tank? My favorite tank, I think, has to be the fresh water tank. There we are. We love it. So fantastic. Yes, corporal punishment. You see, there isn't any sort of punishment. Uh, there's no summary justice that the police can meet out. And I think once the police realized they were respected, they could take some of these people up a close and give them a good birching. I don't think that would be a problem. Now, what have we got here? Because the people who behave themselves in society should be rewarded with a nice place to live. They shouldn't get their houses tanned by junkies, all that sort of stuff. Tony says, I'm 43 tomorrow. I can't wait for Mrs. Max present. Well, Tony, we'll not push you on that. Uh, so there we go. How fantastic is that? If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. Can everybody share? Feel free to call me if you would like to. Uh, you can see the number in front of you there. Wonderful stuff. Great to have you on TikTok as well, guys. Great to have you on Twitch. Now, the Twitch account, follow me, please, because we had two followers last week and we've got 82 today. That's a start. Uh, Facebook, of course, uh, they don't have the huge numbers they used to have for lives. But nevertheless, it's good to be on there. Keep a presence. Twitch, wonderful. I am so impressed with Twitch. And uh, LinkedIn, I've got uh, almost 10,000 people on LinkedIn. Uh, it's the CPL, so also the courts. The police can do all the work and then they kick it out. Well, we need to not have this. We need to ensure that the CPS get right behind uh, with these things and think, no, no, this is, this is a druggie. Anything to do with drugs as a society, we take very, very seriously indeed. And if somebody tests positive for even weed, then a lifetime jail. Yes, that's the stuff. Uh, so there we go. I do apologize. Oh, yes, we did that one. We did that one. That's fantastic. Come and join us as soon as you possibly can. You're watching Scotty McClue, First Lord of the Internet. Now, a bit of housekeeping. We broadcast from Monday to Thursday, 9 o'clock sharp until 10. One hour at night. We've been doing this now for one month including the technical rehearsals. How amazing is that, right? On a Friday and Saturday, we broadcast or live stream, if you would like it that way, and uh, we live stream from 10 o'clock till 11. We discuss lots of wonderful subjects. We have a tremendous time. The potential for the internet for this is huge because I'm now uh, in, I think, my 40th year of media. Uh, agreed, Scotty says, every herb smokers and mushroom eaters are not junkies. We digest God's grown herb and veg. Uh, no cost, no troubles, no nothing. Yeah, but Dave Deprave, you know you don't need it. Nobody should be smoking either. Very bad for the lungs. Dave Deprave says, so if I smoked a joint, I should be banged up for life. Seriously, OMG. Seriously, Dave, I think that's a good starting point. 
and then maybe we could let weed smokers out after 10 years. And they'd soon get the message, you know. Afternoon, Scotty from Port Glasgow, says Nikki Dinky Doo. Who's we? We are the correct people in society, the decent, clean living people who don't want to break any laws. Yes, absolutely. Who don't need anything other than what we've already got in our bodies. Fantastic. Morning in your life. So what have we got here? Hey, Scotty, it's saying Sunday morning in your life, not Monday morning. Ah, on here. Yes, I understand. I see where you're coming from. Yes, I haven't changed that one. So there we are. Dinky do. Scotty, how old's the hat on top of you? 29 years. 29 today. Afternoon, Scotty. Emir, lovely to have you with us. Emir, I love it. Dinky doo, Scotty says, Jack, Jack, good to have you with us. And a big dinky doo to you, I say. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live across the internet. We're on four massive platforms, probably soon to be added to. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and LinkedIn. Get yourselves onto YouTube, subscribe to me, tap the bell, and let's start building up the YouTube channel. Afternoon, Scotty. This is Amir. Afternoon, Amir. Dinky do, Scotty. This is Jack. In Afghanistan, even the goats eat the weed wild as it makes them chilled. Animals love it. Yes, but Dave, there's things we love, but we don't need it. I love a quarter of sour plumes, but I don't need them. I don't queue outside the sweet shop getting anxious if I haven't got any. There we are. Their therapeutic benefits to some forms of marijuana or the cannabis oil. I agree, Scotty. I don't think it's advisable to smoke it. But Dave's right. You shouldn't be jailed. Right. Well, Robert, we need to look at what we're jailing for. But I think we don't want druggies, junkies, smackheads, uh, you know, in society. You know, they're a menace. They really are. They're a danger. So there we are. So Shelby, that's who we is. We is us including you. There were Dinky Doo from Belfast. We love you in Belfast. Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us, Appa. What about people who smoke and try to cure their depression? Well, they're not going to cure the depression by smoking. They're going to enhance their depression to the extent that they're suffering deeply. When I say enhance, they're going to add to it because anything like that, any foreign body, Inhaled in, you're cutting down on your oxygen, you're poisoning your blood, and you're confusing your brain. How's that going to help with depression? Okay, there we go. It's God's green medicine, Dave Deprave. Don't bring God into it. God did not. If God had meant you to be a junkie, you would have had a wee organ that uh, released cannabis into your body. Heroin and coke, fair dues, but not weed and mushrooms, Scotty. Please think again, mate. Okay, Dave, I'll put it out. I don't need to think again. We've got the whole world watching. You guys think again and tell me how you think it should be. I've given you my opinion, and I've backed it up by the facts. Hello, hello, Lord Billington. Lovely to have you with us, sir. So there we are. You eat too much pure, pure gluttony. No, Shelby, I don't eat too much at all. I'm not overweight. I'm just under height. If I was 12 foot six, I'd be perfect. Uh, junkie, how dare you? I vape my weed, not smoke. Well, even vaping, you see, is very bad for you. So try and chuck all these things and get your body healthy again. Remove the dependency. That's what to be doing, I say. So there we go. Six stinky do. Absolutely, Shelby. Well, that's on here. Shelby, I think we'll send you down the swanee because I think you're a wee troll. Do we think Shelby's a troll, guys? There we are. Yes, Shelby's the troll. Shelby, you're leaving us now. Bye-bye for being a dafty. You can't behave yourself on here. There we are. Mm -hmm. That's it. Saying bye-bye. Lovely. Let me see what's happening here. There we go. There's Shelby away. Yep, she didn't seem to be for us, I say. Uh, you can talk healthy. Yes, absolutely, Russell, very much 
healthy. You know, I mean, I'm 28 now. In my 29th year, I had a long paper round, so quite tough. Right, I'll see what's happened. I'm going to pop off the TikTok again. There we go. Fantastic. And uh, what I'm going to do this time on the TikTok is I'm going to reset the live for you. And we'll go live again in a, in a wee while. There we are. Reset that. That's lovely. And I'll just change that. There we are, dinky do. that's better. So that's sorting that out for you. I do apologize to the TikTokers, it still said Sunday. And of course it is Monday. I wondered what Sunday was on about there. Very, very strange. Anyway, that's that. Now, uh, cannabis or components of cannabis could be legalized for medication purposes, Scotty. I dare say, Robert, yes. Yes, Robert, well put, as many health benefits. Yes, but maybe not as many as you'd like to think, Dave. You see, I agree, Suzanne, but people can't accept it as it's a drug. It makes me laugh. It doesn't make me laugh, Dave. You know, I mean, it's uh, we have to find out what the benefits are and say, how well has it been tested? Hmm. We can't just say because somebody's smoked a bit of weed, they're feeling less pain, so therefore they're cured. You know, so what are the actual benefits, I ask you? Right, there we go. I'm going to start the TikTok again. Lovely. There's our TikTokers coming back to join us. How good is that? And uh, we'll just do that and that. That's lovely. Right. I agree, Suzanne. Yes, well put. So there we go. And I know what you mean, Dave, but we have to see what is what. So if you're not jailing every junkie for life, what are you? who are we jailing? So there we go. There's Robert talking about. Well, Robert, that's a kind of brand name, so we'll not go into that. Um, recreational use needs to be controlled. Yeah, but if people have got nothing wrong there, are you telling me every drug addict uh, is taking drugs because they're not well? I would say they're not well because they're taking drugs. That's what we've got there. Keep going. We're letting more viewers know you're live. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank you very much indeed. That is excellent. We've got the TikTokers joining us for lunch, guys. How good is that? Right, if you've just joined us, remember you're watching Scotty McClue. And we're live right across the internet. We're live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, LinkedIn, and TikTok. There we go. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us, guys. Tremendous. We already have the benefits and test results. It's been ongoing for decades. Mainstream don't know that. Mainstream will know it, Dave. Mainstream is the establishment. And they know everything because they've got the candy to buy the tests and pay the drug companies to test things so they will know. Don't kid yourself. Robert, I love you, says Dave. Unjustifiably intoxication is when they don't have an excuse as to why they're an addict and justifiably intoxication is when they have an excuse. So there you are. And that's come from Kareem, who knows his stuff. I tell you that. There we go. Do come and join us. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. So there we are. It's not known because the pharmaceutical companies don't. The pharmaceutical companies or pharmaceutical companies know everything, Dave. The lot. That's why they're pharmaceutical companies and very wealthy. Uh, what they want you to know. Yes. Yes. I've, or the, they don't want you to know. I see where you're coming from. But they know. Trust me. They will know. That's their business to know, I say. You can't stop or won't stop people from getting access to cigarettes or marijuana. If you ban it, they'll go black market. Sorry for a brand reference, Scotty. Yellow card for me. Yellow card for you, Robert. Yellow card, I say. No, no, um, I do understand, but we need to get the people educated so they don't need them. They say, smoke? No. I would never, ever, ever smoke. That's what we need to get people saying. My generation, it was slightly different because everybody did it, so you ended up, and it will be the same with drugs. If people start doing it, then they'll become more and more widespread, and we need to rid ourselves of this scourge in society. Yes, but would we overtake their meds? Uh-huh. And would lose them billions. 
Well, no, not if they start marketing it. I mean, if they then say, look, this is a legitimate medicine, and they start selling it, they'll gain more billions, won't they? There you are. Yes, indeed. I mean, if we can get some things that are acceptable for medicinal purposes, then fine. So there we go. And we can say to the big farmers, don't worry, you won't lose a penny. You can keep uh, taking your money. I've just panic bought 50 pounds worth of petrol. I'm going to have to panic buy a car now, says Mad Ferret. Mad Ferret, we love it. Thank you. I love your badge, the Scotty McClue badge, dinky do, to every single one of you. Can you see it there? Oh, hello. Good afternoon. Gordon Robertson. How lovely to have you with us, dinky do. Good afternoon, I say. I'm just checking the time. I think I'm going to have to push off soon. I'll leave it for about another 15 minutes. Can't stand the smell of weed. You can't go in anywhere walking through clouds of it. It makes me vomit. Every anybody caught smoking weed in public should be jailed for life. That's it. Nobody should ever have to put up with that filthy stuff. There we are. So what can you do? Uh, yes, John Young, I see where you're coming from. We're not going there because obviously we don't cover anything to do with the pandemic. Hello. Hello, Jake. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do, I say. Pharmaceutical companies know the health benefits, but there's many drugs make cash. Yeah, but it shouldn't be illegitimate cash. It should be legit and the money going to the treasury to help pay us. I'm 100% sure that marijuana has great health benefits. You deny that is just ignorant. Dave, you might be 100% sure, but you'd need to tell us what constitutes that 100% and prove the benefits to us. So how can you be sure when you don't actually know? Being 100% sure is all based on fact. There we are. So there we are. But it's good of you to, to give 100% claim. It supports crime. It's a crime in itself. Absolutely. So we don't want to support crime. I'm 100. Oh, yes, we've just done that one. Thank you. Wonderful stuff. If you've just joined us, Gordon, a very good morning to you. We've popped up live on TikTok as well. We're live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and LinkedIn, as you would expect. We need everybody to go on to the YouTube channel, subscribe, and tap the bell. We need everybody to go on to the Twitch channel, Scotty underscore McClue, and follow me and have a look at the phone in from Saturday night was the last one. So there we are. Good one, Susan. Lovely to have you with us this morning. Can everybody watching on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and LinkedIn actually see the number across the bottom of the screen? Shall we make alcohol and tobacco illegal? You could do, Ollie. Wouldn't be a problem at all, you know. I mean, there's no requirement for it. I once said to a doctor, because I used to drink alcohol. Don't get me wrong. And I said to a doctor, eh, what are the benefits? He went, there are absolutely none. So you're paying away your money for alcohol and tobacco for no benefit and to damage your health, make you very sick and very ill. So why do it? So, yes, let's make tobacco and alcohol illegal as well, Ollie Pudge. Absolutely. Anything that's not natural to our bodies, let's dump it as a society. There we are. Do you have an email for me to send you thousands of medically proven results? How can I send you this stuff? Dave Deprave, why would you have medically proven results? Come on now. Uh, so people smoking weed are to get life in prison. Some murderers don't even get 10 years. Well, murdering, you could perhaps look at bringing back the death penalty. Then that's them gone, you see? So you could look at that, but I'm not talking about death for taking wheat. I'm talking about life imprisonment. Yes, but the murderers, definitely, that comes top of the, uh, top of the thing. And if you've taken a life, then you should forfeit your own. No doubt about it. It's important we discuss these things. There's no doubt our country is a drug problem. Robert, yes, that's why we discuss it. And um, so there we are. Yes, we've got emails on there, Dave. You'll see it uh, up on any of the sites. You can email Scotty McClue. 
Swindle, I agree with you there, but we need to look probably at bringing back the death penalty. Society needs to toughen up. You know, we don't need these reprobates going about making it difficult for the rest of us. I don't think we should stigmatize help for people who are seriously struggling with drugs. You can make them better citizens. There's no doubt I've seen this. Okay, well, let's go on and look at that. Fair enough. So you dismiss my evidence, Dave. We're not dismissing anything. But why would you get evidence? I mean, are you very wealthy? Have you bought it from the big farmers? There we are. Good evening from Bangkok, says Gordon Gorman. Gordon, we love you joining us from Bangkok. A very good evening to you, sir. Fantastic. Is the moose still loose in my house? Says Keith. Yes, Keith. There's a moose loose about this house. There's no doubt about that. Vote for Paul. What's that? Mon up to Stornaway, says Eamon. Ah, Stornavach. Yes, hi. Lovely to have you with us. Farchi, Farchi, Key, the Millie Farchi. Don the phone in the TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and LinkedIn. I guess says, Scotchach McClure. You'll never accept evidence, even if God himself would come down from the heavens and told you, Dave, if you've got the evidence, I'll accept it if it's genuine. How about that for you? Fantastic. How good is Scotty McClure to you? Hmm? First person has ever taken you seriously. There you are. Yes, I'm extremely wealthy. Excellent, Dave. Well, you would uh, have paid for these tests then, have you? So we'll accept it. Excellent from Dave Deprave. If you're extremely wealthy, Dave, feel free to stick a fiver in Scotty McClure's paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClure. <laughs> there we go. Who's on the TikTok with us this morning? Dinky do, I say. Always lovely to have you with us. Now, uh, I'm just looking at the time here, guys, and I'm thinking, when did I pop up? Uh, I think probably we'll, we'll call it a day at that. Join us tonight at 9 o'clock sharp. Spend the rest of the day sifting through Scotty McClure videos and sharing them and liking them. Go on to TikTok and look at all the beautiful videos for you. Go on to Facebook and follow me. Go on to YouTube, subscribe and tap the bell. YouTube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one. And Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. Get yourselves on there. As I said, it's the majority of people that suffer for the minority of people. Kareem, brilliant. Can I phone you this week, Scotty, to discuss the Queen's consent? I'm doing chores that I might be available tonight. Robert. You can always phone me any time it suits. We'll be on from 9 till 10 tonight, so come and join us then. My friend has a chip shop in Edinburgh and is under pressure to change the names of his black puddings as certain customers say it's offensive. Well, if you're offended by a black pudding, then you should be banned for life from eating them. Yes, a lifetime ban from ever having a black pudding, and that means all the more black pudding for Scotty McClure. There's nothing offensive about the term pudding, I say. My extreme wealth has no relevance. Oh, it must do, Dave. You must do something with it. You know, everything's got a relevance. You know, have a think about what you could be doing with your life. You're watching Scotty McClure, so that's a good way to spend your time. You know, I mean, I understand that having money, you know, once you've got it, it doesn't really mean anything. It becomes valueless almost, you know, and you feel like a bit of a poor soul. But, you know, you put your life to good use. That's what I say. Right, guys, I'm going to push off. Dinky do. Love to the TikTokers. We'll see you all later. This is Scotty McClure saying, ta -da -la! There we are. That's our lovely TikTokers gone. And, um, so uh, there we go. Same for white puddings. My favorite with brown sauce. I just like the truth. We all like the truth. You've come to the right place, Dave. This is where you will get the truth. Scotty McClure, just for you across the internet. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Go and subscribe to the YouTube channel right now. If you're looking at TikTok, you'll see the URL just below my bio. To the rest of you, have a gorgeous day and dinky-doo. ta